Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And once again, um, if the question comes regularly, if you get D24H2 appear on Windows updates, um, you know, a lot of people are asking me, well, I, you know, tell me, do I update or not? And the question is simple. Um, and the answer is quite simple, too, in general. For the majority of people, 99.9%, um, if it shows up here in your Windows update waiting for you to download and install, it's because Microsoft's telemetry thinks that your PC is fine with 24H2 and there's no problem to upgrade. And in fact, pretty much everybody that has it showing up there have absolutely no issues upgrading. I have done my Acer Nitro upgrading, and it works absolutely fine. Got no issues at all. And um, so, you know, if you want, if, if it's something you want, you would like to move on to the latest version, go ahead if it shows up there. It, it should be okay. Uh, normally, there's no issues when it actually is offered to you. Other questions also that I've got for 24H2. Um, does it bring a lot of features? Well, yeah, it brings kind of some features, but most of them are kind of buried within the settings and the system. So when you go to 24H2, the impression for a lot of people is, I don't see any difference. And yeah, there's really not that much, uh, except for little tweaks here and there that you can change on the system. It was pushed, well, it's pushed as a big update. It is kind of a big update. But honestly, front-facing feature in your face, it's not a big update. It's a big update for those that are in, you know, with Copilot plus PCs because over there they're you know, pushing recall and all of that. But for regular folks on the standard PCs, X64 PCs, uh, with Intel and AMD, it's, there's, you know, the, the features are just uh, inside the system. There's all sorts of little things here and there. Wi-Fi is, you know, latest generation Wi-Fi. There's now uh, different ways to, you know, for the clock and the calendar and those, you know, things that are like, yeah, okay, well, you gave us some things. Um, I have a video that does talk about some of the new features. But honestly, for most people, it's not different. Uh, so it's pushed as a big update, but you'll feel that it's not a big update when you go there because you won't see why and what's different. But that said, new features are coming up. So there will be new features coming up with Patch Tuesday. There will be new features through 2025. It will be different. There will be things that are going to be worth uh, checking out at some point. But they're not rolling out with the system now, which is honestly a very weird way of Microsoft, you know, uh, doing things. Uh, quite a few of you have Acer Nitro laptops and mentioned that you don't see 24H2, where I see 24H2 on mine. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's normal. Um, remember that Acer Nitro is a brand, but all the machines are not all the same. So uh, some of you have more recent graphics adapters. Um, some of you will have, of course, different generation of processor than mine. Maybe apps that you have installed, um, because we all don't all use the PC in the same way. Uh, if you've used third-party antivirus and all sorts of these things, different hardware that maybe you have plugged on your PC. So don't worry if I see it on my Acer Nitro, Keep in mind that my Acer Nitro 5 is a very, um, it's a very basic in its install. It doesn't have any special hardware plugged on it. It's used mainly as a PC on my big screen TV in the living room. Uh, but nothing, you know, it, I don't add anything fancy to it. It's just there to browse the web and do a few things that I want to do. I don't even game with it anymore, although I could because I have some of the games installed with my Xbox Xbox Game Pass. But I don't game with it anymore. Uh, I just um, use it for basic functionalities, uh, and and not that much because uh, I have a 
you know, smart TV that does a lot. So um, it it actually is just there for the purpose of having a better browser than the TV has and, and a few other things. But you, you guys might be using that PC for much you know, different things, including, you know, because there are some games that can actually prevent you from moving on also. Uh, so it could be, you know, games that you have installed and stuff like that. So don't worry. It will come to your computer soon. And uh, 24H2 Microsoft did say that it's rolling out now to more computers. So that means that um, eventually you'll see it show up and you'll see it um, on your whatever machine you have, including the Acer Nitro series uh, of uh, computers. So uh, don't worry about it. And um, for the rest, if 24H2 is not something that appeals to you and you see it that it's available, you can just ignore it. And uh, it will be forced on you at some point uh, next year. But for now, you can just continue enjoying 23H2. Remember the rule. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if everything's fine, hey, you can just stay here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.